Hey, what's going on everyone? Big here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be working on the tent. Um, if you look very carefully, the tent, especially the center part, is kind of caving in, and that's because we have a lot of negative air pressure. We have more negative than we have positive. Even though I have intakes on three sides, only a box fan here, a box fan there, and then just passive intake on the back side, it does not make more positive air pressure than this fan can put out. Additionally, right here in the middle where it's most concave is the Octaminer rig, which has some pretty beefy fans on it that's just sucking it in, right? So if we close that, you can see, like I could go out a little bit more, but it's just sucking it in. So to fix that in a little jank way, easy, quick DIY trick, we got this piece of wood. I'm going to measure it with the tape measure and I'm gonna find a way to, uh, you know, just temporarily add some extensions onto it that will push the tent out a little bit more because you can see it. Very, very hard to tell with the camera, but you can, you can see how much cave-in is happening there. That will give me some better airflow for the Octaminer system, uh, which a couple of cars running a little bit warm here in Florida. So we're gonna cut three sections if possible and somehow got to figure out where on the Octaminer rig I can stick them. I'm thinking one maybe right here, one right in the middle, and another one back here. You can see there was some tape, but because it gets so hot here, this duct tape just becomes malleable, and whatever was I had right here just got pushed out of the way. So now I got this nasty adhesive that I need to clean up, but I'll worry about that another time. So let's see if we can't make this system at least thermally run a little bit better. And let's actually yeah, so see one A2000 is at 100, the other one's at 96, and then we got a couple of GPUs, core temperature wise, they're high. The 3070 up top, I'm not too worried about because I doesn't even have a fan on it, but if we can get the A2000s, which are right here in the middle uh, section, a little bit cooler, that would make things a little bit better. But it's always gonna be hot when you have the air closed off and negative air pressure is greater than the positive. So let's see what I come up with. All right, so let's take a look at the thermals already. I can see some red here. Uh, looks like the A2000 is getting 102C on the memory. The other A2000 is at 98. The rest of the cards are still a little bit high. They're in the yellow, but they're not as high as they were before. Um, and yeah, what did I do? Well, all I did was take a couple pieces of wood, measured it, made them about the same size, and then I used some Velcro strips, some Scotch Velcro, to stick the wood onto the frame, uh, rather than leaving this nasty adhesive that duct tape would leave. Um, and this is doing a pretty good job. It's pushing out the tent far enough to where we get some adequate airflow uh, to these Octaminer fans to exhaust it out the back and then exhaust it out the top of the tent. So. Uh, it didn't drop the temperatures dramatically, but it's not starving the Octaminer. And the biggest improvement that I could see is the Zotac 3070. It's 66 degrees now when it was 74, I think, uh, prior to. And that car does not have a fan on it. It's just heat sink. So now we're getting good airflow on the backside here. So that, that Zotac car, which is in this back region, is getting good airflow, staying nice and cool. The A2000s are notoriously running hot. They're small cars, blower style uh, type, you know, GPU shrouds um, and fans. So I think just a replacement of thermal pads and then maybe the copper shim mod would make that a lot better. And then all in all, now this rig will be running cooler. The AMD rig is running cooler because of the new Team Red Miner uh, release. And then the only things that are hot at the very bottom, which are the 3080s, and they will always run hot no matter what I do. So that's pretty much it for this video. Please do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date. And I just wanted to show you my little jank fix that I did with some blocks of wood and some Velcro. The wood is not near anything super important, so I'm not really concerned about it. I sanded it down so that way it doesn't poke through the tent. So it should help promote airflow, help the Octaminer not starve for air, and uh, help out in the long run for longevity of my GPUs. 
So just a little quick DIY trick. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.